I'm Charles Boda, and this is your Diz Daily Fix for November 28th, 2017. Although this season brings a multitude of exciting events and decorations to Disney parks, possibly the best part of the holidays is the increase in opportunities to be kinder, more generous people. With that sentiment in mind, the dates have been announced for when you can make your donation to Toys for Tots at the Disneyland Resort. U.S. Marine Corps Reserves and Anaheim Fire and Rescue will be on hand to receive the donations at the Downtown Disney Main Stage on December 2nd and 3rd from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Collection bins will also be available at other locations around Downtown Disney, as well as the three hotels of the Disneyland Resort. Now, in 1948, a year after the charity was founded, Walt Disney actually created the logo for Toys for Tots, which distributes gifts to children whose parents cannot afford to buy them gifts for Christmas. It's easy for some of us to take the gift-giving process of the holidays for granted, maybe start to feel like it's just an obligation or that it takes away from the true meaning of Christmas. We see people fighting each other in aisles on Black Friday for deals, and the whole process starts to seem a little bit tainted. Now, the thought behind giving someone a Christmas gift isn't about how expensive or impressive it is. It's just a little way to let someone know that you care, that they have at least one person in their life who thinks of them and wants to bring a smile to their face that they're special and important to someone. All children deserve that. A lot of parents are working their hardest to feed and clothe their kids and just try to make ends meet, and it's not always possible for them to do that and still be able to afford gifts at the end of the year. So if you'd like to help them out, you can donate at the Disneyland Resort, but you can also look for a donation area near you by going to toysfortots.org. Now, if you do head to Downtown Disney to donate, you'll be able to take in everything the area uh, has to offer for the holidays. Downtown Disney's decorations are up and primed for picture-taking opportunities. Now, here are a few things that guests can look forward to through the holiday season um, through January 7th. There will be nightly holiday entertainment, including the new Holiday Harmony Carolers, complete with ugly sweaters. Breakfast with Santa at uh, Catal Restaurant that includes a family-style breakfast and a teddy bear from Build-A-Bear Workshop for the kids. Catal is hosting Santa on December 16th, 21st, and 22nd. Build-A-Bear Workshop is featuring Santa's reindeer during the holidays, and young guests can make their own stuffed reindeer and dress it in the perfect Christmas outfit. Uh, Check out the Mickey and Minnie love icon charms at Pandora Jewelry, and while supplies last, they are throwing in a free Disney clutch. And lastly, haagen has a holiday sundae featuring peppermint bark ice cream, hot fudge, and Oreos, topped with whipped cream and candy pieces. Now, lastly, Epcot's Mexico Pavilion has something special coming up centered around the newest Disney Pixar film. Coco has proven to be incredibly successful so far, breaking box office records in Mexico and dominating Thanksgiving weekend for its U.S. release. Epcot's Mexico Pavilion has already debuted a new Coco-inspired mariachi group, El Mariachi Coco de Santa Cecilia, and now they have another musical installment in the works. Sometime later this season, a new musical experience will be added to the Mexican Folk Art Gallery, which currently uh, displays a collection of Dia de Muertos artwork. The interactive exhibit will showcase various scenes from the blockbuster hit using festive dioramas. Now, a lot of the new concept art that's been making the rounds regarding the construction renovations of Walt Disney World Resorts has spurred one of our contributors to ask an important question. Take a look at today's featured article, Is the Disney Being Lost in Disney, uh, Walt Disney World Resort Hotels? That's by Philip Schoen. You can ask yourself exactly what makes a uh, Disney Resort Hotel actually Disney for you. Over on the Theme Parks Attractions and Strategies Forum, there is a trending thread that was started by poster Cindy Liu, who has a Walt Disney World trip planned for June of 2018. In the thread, she expresses her concerns about being at Disney's Hollywood Studios during the time where Toy Story Land uh, will open and how that might impact her plans. Now, she asks advice from posters who are uh, visiting Pandora, the world of Avatar, when it first opened, and others are jumping in to share their strategies and exactly what was successful. Look for the thread entitled, I Dread the Thought of Toy Story Opening Days, and join in on the discussion yourself. Now, remember to join us today at 1 for the Disunplugged Walt Disney World Edition, where all the major news, stories, and topics will be discussed. You can check that out on disunplugged.com at 1 p.m. today. 
Uh, for the weather today, Gaston Orlando will have a partly sunny day with a high of 79 and a low of 66. And those in Anaheim will have the same, but with a high reaching 77 and a low down to 50. And for information on everything I've mentioned, go to wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. And that'll be it for me today. But join us again tomorrow for another installment of your Diz Daily Fix. Thank <music> you.